What's up guys, it's been a while since we've done a weapon review, so I was like, hey, might as well get back into it, keep trying out some new weapons in the Crucible and see what's going to be good, especially since Warmind is going to be coming out in the next few weeks here in May. And yeah, I was just trying out this weapon in the Crucible, it's like the last hope, a little different perks and whatnot, but it is the Eulogy SI4. Obviously, first of how to obtain this weapon, you can earn it from almost any activity and from any vendor inside of, I would say, Destiny 2 right now. It's a very common weapon people get. I don't know if people keep it or dismantle it. I guess it's up to their discretion, but you can get this weapon very easily. Let's go over the perks. So it comes with Omelon Adaptive Frame, well rendered, reliable fires to three round burst. You have two sight options. You have the target SAS, sharp sidearm sight, increases range, slightly decreases stability, slightly decreases handling speed. You have the tactic SAS, accurate sidearm sight, slightly increases range, and then you have high caliber rounds. Shots from this weapon, not back the target farther, slightly increases range. Flurry Magwell, optimized for fast reloading slightly increased stability greatly increases reload speed and then finally it's trait perk grave robber melee kills reload a portion of the magazine here's a little summary of what i use on the weapon so sight wise i personally go with the target sas sight for that increased range i believe sacrificing some of that stability and handling will help this weapon's performance better than if you were to go with like the stability uh factor on this thing and yeah range is definitely going to help especially since it is a sidearm Magazine wise, I'd go with high caliber rounds for that slight boost to range and what the stagger offers. Obviously, like being able to have that fast RPM sidearm hit enemies and stagger them constantly will give you an advantage when it comes to those close quarter uh, combat engagements. Like you already know Last Hope melts super quick. This weapon can literally do the same thing, but high caliber rounds really staggers the enemy. It's trait perk Grave Robber is definitely an underrated perk in my opinion. It's especially good for people who play more fast paced and up close considering that Grave Robber returns half the magazine on a melee kill so you can get right into another engagement without having to waste the time of a reload. So I know like a lot of some machine guns come with Grave Robber. I know that some sidearms do but like especially with this sidearm like especially the kill time that it offers it's going to be really good especially if you want to keep moving through your engagements. So PvE wise I don't have any footage but I can say that this weapon isn't made for those higher tier activities. It'd probably be good for things like public guns and heroic strikes if you want to try it out it'd probably be pretty good especially if you get a melee you like don't have to waste time reloading because grave robber would kick in but i never see anybody using last hope in any pv activities whether it's the nightfall the raid uh heroic strikes or anything like that so this i have a feeling this weapon would perform a little better in last hope considering it does have grave robber but it's definitely not the best pve weapon to be using next is go over pvp so in the crucible this weapon is it's pretty solid it's within the same archetype as the most meta weapon ever the last hope like it's obviously not as accurate because it doesn't have zen moment but it still packs a punch even at a close range plus with getting the mag back after a melee kill it saves on that reload time which i mentioned before but again it leads to faster engagements especially since iron banner 6v6 is here like all you have to do is shoot somebody a little bit get a melee kill get ma get half that magazine back and just keep doing it you know like especially if you have uh, a melee that gives you your health back whether you're Oh, a Devourer Void Locker, or whether you're a Defender Titan, or whether you are uh, the one Arc Strider subclass where you get your health back after a melee kill, like, being able to do that is going to be extremely good and extremely fast. You're going to be able to drop people very, very quickly and not waste a lot of time reloading and have to get out of your engagements. Finally, my rating for this weapon is an 8 out of 10. Overall, this one performs almost like the last tote, but you get high caliber rounds and half the mag back on the melee kill, so you do get a stagger factor and faster engagements. It's really good for those close quarters combat uh, situations. I have a feeling it'll be great in game modes uh, that even ha that are going to be even like Iron Banner 6v6. Like I'm hoping that the Crucible gets approved to where we do have a little more variety of, I would say, 6v6 game modes and whatnot. Apparently at the Bungie Summit, there's a new game mode coming out. I'm very excited to see what it is, but I'm hoping it is going to have a lot of I'm not, I'm more than 4v4, I should say. But uh, if you haven't tried out this weapon in the Crucible, I highly recommend it. If you like using the last soap, which if you do, try this weapon out, though. It is very, very good. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. If you want to help support me, there'll be a link below. Say best way to support me. Uh, take it to a four minute video. It's not Patreon or anything like that. I believe it's a lot better than Patreon. I believe you guys get a lot more out of it than I have to do Patreon. But if you don't want to check that out, you can always like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you do those things, I very much appreciate it. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you next time.